Ryan gets taken now! Oh. Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and this is What If the NASCAR Cup Series Raced at Circuit of the Americas. Clint Boyer's on the pole. We are you? oh, somebody's, something's wrong with John Hunter Nemechek, I think. Anyway, we are using NASCAR Racing 2003 season to simulate this race because uh, I believe this track will be in the 2021 schedule in real life NASCAR. So we're going to test it out on here first to see how it goes. Uh, it took a lot of testing to get it to kind of work. Um, there's probably going to be lots of crashing, but we'll see what happens. Uh, only six laps because it takes like forever to complete one lap. So... Cautions will make the race very short because they'll skip over the yellow flags and they will take up all the time So hopefully we only have like one or so But Clint Boyer on the pole on his outside Denny Hamlin Chris Buescher, wow, he's up there and all these other where the heck is Chase Elliott? He's back there about 14th or so I'm using the uh, realistic standings from the road course races Realistic stats from all the road course races in 2019 and 2020 so far, which I think there's only been one in 2020. So I would expect Elliott to win because he's got like three wins in the last four road courses or something. But it's going to take him some time to get up there, so this is going to be a very interesting start to the race. And uh, how long is this pace lap going to be? Pace car is off now, okay. So pace car is off, Clint Boyer is your leader, Day Hamlin up there. I don't even know how Chris Buescher is in the top three, I don't. And then we got Truex, Kozlowski, Harvick, green flag is out. Is Boyer going to be able to hold his own up there? Four wide, three wide in the back, almost four wide. And it looks like they're going to overshoot the corner, whoa, Hamlin way wide and that's going to make it three wide back here, hopefully they don't crash. So far, Boyer in the lead. Second is Buescher. They're crashing in the back. That's probably a caution. That is probably a caution, but we can go back and look at the replay after this lap. They still get to at least complete a lap, which is a lot of racing, so that's cool. And Bowman battling with Hamlin, I believe. To yes, the caution is out, so they're racing to the yellow. Hamlin trying to get by Bowman. Matt to Benedetto Rex. We have two Rex in the first lap. These guys don't know how to drive here, so that explains why. This is going to be a very crazy race. This corner is a really tight corner right here, too. You see Eric Jones give a little bump and run to Harvick, even though it didn't work. We got some three wide coming out of the corner. Ryan Blaney's way in the back back here. John Hunter Nima checks in the pits. I think Keselowski's going to try to take second away from Buescher. Hopefully before they get to the yellow flag. I think it's already been like three minutes or something since the green flag and they haven't even finished the lap yet. But I'm not sure if that's true or not. Maybe two minutes. Maybe only one. I don't know. Keselowski's looking to make a move. No, it's not going to happen yet, is it? He's right there. So is Bowman. I didn't know Bowman was good at road courses. Is he? Is Bowman good at road courses, or did he just get a lucky stat of the day or something? I guess you guys can let me know in the comments. I don't really remember anything about it. Well, the only thing I remember is the Roval. Was it the Roval that he was... That he, um... Made Bubba Wallace mad. Anyway, we race to the caution. Clint Boyer is going to be your leader. Buescher, Keselowski, Bowman. Fourth, fifth goes to Hamlin. That's your top five. Let's go take a look at the replay. There was multiple crashes, so we'll take a look at this first one. Truex comes off the track, comes back on. Blaney has nothing. Oh, and it takes Blaney out too. They both get going without anything going wrong. Next, we got Tyler Reddick. Because he's three wide right here, he gets loose. Oh, the same exact time De Benedetto hits the wall. We'll take a look at De Benedetto's view. De Benedetto. 
Looked like he was actually doing... Oh, he hit Jones pretty hard. Jones slowed down when he didn't expect it. That really messed up the Benedetto's car. Those were all the incidents. Let's go to the green flag. All right, guys, we're going green this time. Bye, Clint Boyer, still your leader. We're going to hit the halfway point. Even though we've only had one green flag lap, that was two minutes. So it takes a little over two minutes for a lap. Clint Boyer is your leader. Green flag is out. Boyer's going to lead him off. I'm thinking Bowman's going to try to make a crazy move again. No, Eric Jones does as he dives to the inside. Everybody else stays single file, it looks like. Jones trying to capitalize on a ton of positions. He just, oh, I don't know if that's a caution. That might still be green. That might still be green. Bowman slid off of the track three wide. Oh, three wide back here is dangerous. Oh, man, somebody's got to give, and it is Denny Hamlin that gives. Oh, Hamlin gets taken now. Oh. Now we got to be under caution. There's no way we're not now. No, we're still green. Wow. Oh, caution is now out. We'll have to see what brought the actual caution out. So many crashes. Just Eric Jones has what it takes. I mean, he's been able to pass a few cars. He started eighth. He's third now. Just in half a lap. And it looks like Boyer just going to dominate because I believe this will end the race. And uh, obviously the I and I needs a little bit of work, but yeah, this could be an interesting race. The crashes are cool. Maybe if you didn't even have cautions on, it would be better. Just because there's, it's just craziness. Elliot was not able to make up very many positions, was he? Boyer looks like he's home free. He's got Buescher behind him, and Buescher's usually not too good, so. Pretty good for him today. This is proven Buescher might actually have some skill. It's just his Roush equipment slows him down might be the uh, thing. Because he's up here. I would say same thing for Boyer, but that's not the case. Boyer should not be uh, doing as bad as he does at other tracks. But he's going to show them who's boss here at Circuit de Americas. And he's going to lead them to the caution. And yellow flag is out. Buescher, Jones, Kozlowski, Kurt Busch should be your top five. Let's go take a look at the replay. Well, I guess it was this incident that caused the caution. They were still green after uh, they both slid out of the way. But I think Hamlin got mad and just drove right into Byron Bohm. And that's what brought out the actual caution. And uh, Hamlin just destroyed his own car. Byron's car just looks like it has a little bit of damage, but uh, we'll see if we have a green flag or not. Nope, we are finishing this race under caution. Clint Boyer is going to win the first NASCAR Cup race at Circuit de America. Obviously, it's only six laps. I don't know how long they're planning on going. I would assume like a maybe a 50-lap race would probably be normal for here just because of that, the way it is. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Let me know what track you want to see next. We got, uh, they're doing an Indianapolis road course next season. They're, we already, I mean, we already seen what happens at Daytona road course. Um, they're doing, I believe, Road America. And they're doing Nashville Fairgrounds, I think, is the short track. I'm pretty sure they added one more track besides the Bristol Dirt one. There's like six new tracks, I think. All at the cost of Chicagoland and Kentucky, which Kentucky has not been that good of a race. And then Chicagoland, I blame it on their government. But yeah, Clint Boyer wins. Chris Buescher second. That shows he actually has potential at this track. And now I kind of think I want to be watching him here. Eric Jones third. Fourth goes to Keselowski, fifth Kurt Busch, sixth Harvick, seventh Johnson, eighth McDowell, ninth Kyle Busch, and tenth Logano. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys next time.